What makes Invention Convention so special is that students are finding problems they care about. They aren't given a problem by an adult. They go and seek the problem out themselves. They really uncover what that problem is. They have to be empathetic with people to be able to do that. And that's kind of the power of Invention Education. I think it's important for us to help youth understand that they can start innovating and inventing whenever they have idea. You don't have to wait to go to engineering school and know all the math and science. So you walk around here and you see students solving pet issues, but after seeing students after multiple years, they move from their pets to solving a community issue to solving even a global issue. My invention is called Webby Blinds and they're blinds made of rubber, so if a cat passes through to get a look outside, they won't bend or, or tear. Our invention is a car garden that travels from community to community and drops off fresh grown food in food deserts. The gases emitted from smokestacks or pleasurous greenhouse gases have risen drastically in the previous 50 years. I wanted to develop my own device or own system that could remove these harmful gases. Raytheon Technologies was founded by inventors. And so innovation is at the heart of everything we do. We support Invention Convention U.S. Nationals because we want to start to foster that innovative spirit and the excitement in kids very early. The Linda Hall Library is a, a library of science, engineering, and technology. So invention education is in our wheelhouse. And we thought Invention Convention was the perfect vehicle to partner with schools, school districts, and teachers to bring invention education into the classroom. Stimulating our youth, getting them engaged, getting them, again, thinking in those different ways and innovating, it helps us all. Being able to work through all my prototypes, I've been able to develop a few skills because of this that I'm very happy for, and then being able to test them and actually see a prototype come out and work. I just, I love that feeling, but there's always advancements I can make. We learned a lot along the way. We learned a lot about the essentials of programming, the essentials of detecting retinal diseases, what biomarkers to look for. These were all things that weren't taught to us in schools and that many people really didn't think we could do as 11th graders. There's high engagement for our students in, in the learning process. They are learning at a deeper level because of that engagement. More than anything, I want the students, the guests, the parents, the teachers to be inspired. When I was in the competition process, I remember just being so uplifted by the fact that I could say my pitch to people who cared. Our students continue to challenge me to think beyond kind of my narrow scope. Every day I learn something from them and it inspires me to do the work that I do. I think we're most proud of how far we've come. It's been really inspiring to see this become an idea to a concept and finally implement it into a physical reality. I'm really proud that it actually works now. We have a working prototype. What I'm most proud about is my process because it was very hard and there was a lot of times I felt like giving up, but you know, I kept going through it and they say it was a year and it, it does pay off. see the passion in their eyes and to listen to the process they followed to arrive at a solution that's potentially life-changing or world-changing is very special to me. It's just a glimpse into a very special moment that I wish I could have every single day.